going to start with the things that I repaired. So, let me can just pull that over my head. I fixed this so that it is now a necklace. So, it's kind of cool. And I fixed this one. That was just needed jump ring back together. Got it back together. And the rose, the yellow rose. <laughs> I cheated. I thought instead of taking the time to try to wire all that back together, why not just pull a few jump rings off and uh, take out the rose. So I took out the rose. So that's definitely a statement piece. And I think when I sell it, I'm going to add the uh, uh, earrings that I have to it. Make it a little P a uh, little set. I think that would be cool. So, okay. We will show you. I showed you these, but I did find the pair of them. Those wire earrings. Just a big wire knot. That's <laughs> all it is. And they're clip-on. So, pretty cool. Oh, is that a signature? I didn't even do that while ago. No, I don't think so. Anyway, so... I didn't find many matches on the earrings. These little hammered silver dangles. There was this bracelet. Little charmy bracelet that has a kitty cat on it. It's really cute. There was this stretchy bracelet. Not so much. There were some beads that um, were in there that I just threw straight into my bead box. Y'all know I'm not crazy about beads. So I'm fixing to put a bead box on eBay. And then there was this little ring. And it is not gold or anything. It's just a little kind of, I call it like a shell ring. A little pinky ring. Probably about a five and a half, six. And a little nurse's pin. So that was all of the non necklace items. So let's see how that and I did look up, um, Brighton does have some dragonflies, but it is not that dragonfly. They have several dragonflies, actually, but um, it is not that dragonfly. So that dragonfly does not go in there. Found this pendant here. It says, keep calm and carry on. So, it says, keep clam, I love you. <laughs> it really does keep clam c-l-a-m but it has this really cool little green heart so i like the green heart that's cool anyway so and this right here was really cool it is let's see what did i do with my there it is look for my little black thing It is sterling silver. It is marked, but I don't recognize the mark at all. Anyway, and it's a little purple bunny rabbit. It's got these little purple stones, uh, beads, and then there's a little purple belly in the bunny rabbit, like a jelly belly style. Anyway, it is vintage. Um, I wish I knew what that mark was. Let's see if I can make it show up here. I don't think I can, but we'll try. So, uh... I don't think it's going to show any A. It's a little mark on the back of it, but I just don't recognize it. Anyway, it's really cute. So, this was broken and I fixed it. It was something I pulled out. A, a silver link with little pearl beads on it. This is just a chain. Oops. Sorry. This is just a chain, and the chain is marked Chico's, but it don't have anything on it. So, anyway. And it don't want to, I can't get it fastened. It's just one of those little rope chains. This is the letter M in rhinestones necklace. Lots and lots and lots and lots of necklaces. Uh, little glass, not well, plastic beads necklace this is cool they're glass I mean 
it's cool for beads. Y'all know I don't like beads, but it is cool for beads. My nose itches. So it is glass. It has a starfish. Glass beads and the glass starfish. And the and it's gold and purple. So it's neat. Quite a few silver pieces, I mean signed pieces. A lot of premier design. This one here is um, Origami Owl. It says Origami Owl. And it says Dream and Beautiful. And it's charms on it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I, I very carefully laid all of you out. Don't. Don't do that. Get tangled. There we go. Okay. A little pearl drop choker with a barrel clasp. A little rhinestone heart, not signed. This one's a little odd. He probably is going to go in a bag. It says 2012, and he's a, he's um. And the ball chains, but he's just made odd. I'll we'll stick him back here in a bag. Um, let's see. Now, I really like the oops, I don't like that. That one's just cheap stuff. Anyway, it's a nice little chain, but it has a little piece, a um, tie dye psychedelic piece symbol. Bring him back here to you. And I like these, I like these red beads in here. I think that's a nice necklace. It's long. And it is symmetrical. <laughs> I know I have my hang ups. And this is pretty. It's a mesh, kind of mesh boxy chain. And it has this. And I believe those are Marcus Hots in there. ever just get really frustrated when you know you've untangled stuff and then it wants to tangle back up and this one here is a um i think they're little wood beads made to look like puka shells and it's american eagle outfitters uh, i really like this this little glass bead it looks like dichroic glass it's really cool this one here is just a um, silver links, and let me make sure. Nope. I wanted. I was going to say. I think it's New York, but it's not. It's that one while ago that I saw that had that different tag on it. That I'm not sure about this name. It's VCLM trademark. VCLM. I don't know it, but it's a trademark symbol. VCLM. So, and I love this little dude. Little owl. He is really cute. There's a knot, I think, in that chain. Oh, I got it out. Anyway, it's real cute. Um,. Little gold beads, brushed gold beads, and a little heart cut out in a copper colored necklace. Um, nothing spectacular. This is cute for beads. Little glass, um, those are glass, glass and black beads. Lots of pearly things. That's a, a pearl necklace with a clasp. I got a bead lock going over the end of that that can go into. Um, make sure I'm trying not to. Okay. Two things with cords. Okay, this is just a little wooden disc. Not my style. And then this is a little shell disc. And they're both on cords. Definitely not my style. But somebody will like them. 
quote Margaret. Let's see. Um, this one is a little blue stone, three strands, blue and silver. The, they're not stone stones, they're plastic beads. So, and I don't know what this is, guys. <laughs> I, I don't have a clue. It's a bunch of chains. And I think it's a bracelet of some kind. Where the... Let's just, let me just hold it. Where it all fits on your hand. But I don't know what it is. So, it's odd. So, and some of this I just wait, waited to show y'all what it was. And then putting it in lot bags. So, I like that. I think that's very neat. I think it will sell. Those are glass beads. This one here. Express. It's one of those. I call them guitar wires. That's what it looks like. It looks just like the wires on my husband's guitar. The strings on my husband's guitar. This one here is really neat. It's kind of got a. It's kind of got a feel like it don't want to hang against my hand. So we'll hang it on this. So it's got this. Uh. These little flowers, little black beads, cute. This one here is a triple strand of gray colored pearls. I'm putting all the pearls in a lot. I'll have a pearl lot. This one here is vintage it's got some really cool design on it but they're not real pearls it's got a hook but there's no signature on it and it's got these little um things here that's got these little rhinestones in it so it's a little little delicate necklace i really like this it is a triple triple no it's four uh, leaves uh, brassy antique gold leaves. Oops. Hope nothing happened to the camera there. Uh, another strand of pearls. And these here are signed, have on the back has Avon on the clasp. It's a box clasp. Uh, these are red beads. They're vintage. They're nice. This is a nice necklace. It is not signed, but uh, uh, it is just a little dingle dangle, not symmetrical. Y'all know that bothers me. Oh, and it's got the ugly cord in it. So, but it's got a thing like to hook your eyeglasses on. You know, I'm not real fond of cords. This one's cool. Another piece that's not signed. This has these three little dingle dangles in a little rough shape not great shape not bad shape but just could use and a clean a good cleaning might help it so anyway then we've got these beads very nice strand two four six eight ten i believe little seed beads and then i am not yeah i will I'll say I'm not going to take this out, but I will. Um, it is a bunch, and they're black, black and white beads, and it's really cool. They're seed beads, but really neat. So I put it in this little envelope because I didn't want to fight with untangling it out of everything. So anyway. This was really another good box. It wasn't as marvelous as the last box, but it was a good box. So, anyhow, but, yeah. Um, another strand of pearls with these little, um, these little things in them. So, kind of cool. I mean, the little, the little rhinestone things, they like, the, they like are too easy to, mash so anyway they'll go in with beads uh,
Dodge Shell, it's signed New York. Clear glass, not signed. This little. Oh, come off of there. You silly little thing. You want to be fastened on there, don't you? There you go. You just come out of there. There. That one let loose now. Let's get it out of this thing. Well, we know that I would never qualify to be a jewelry model. So, so this little thing here is um, 925. It says 925. I have not tested it. It has this little cross. Little, It's a little different. I need to lay it over here to test it because I remembered it. It said 925. And I pulled out a little clear glass bead necklace. It's kind of cool. Put that over there. This one was odd to me. It's a cluster of pearls on a ropey chain. It's definitely different. I'm going to put it in with the pearls. And this one was another one that I thought was different. Um, it's little glass square beads and it fastens and you adjust it by sliding up that this wooden disc up and down. So it's different and I guess you put the wooden disc through here get it through there and twist it and then when you put it on it goes sideways and stays so anyway so it's different definitely different um, oh and I told my husband we found a gold <laughs> it's this rock or geode that somebody sprayed gold on the inside and it's got the chains going around it most definitely a different piece anyway different I've said that word many times today haven't I so this one here is cool it is little pieces of dyed shell browns it'll go in a lot with some more necklaces and this one is really pretty and it is signed 1928 and it's a little necklace beaded necklace glass beads and uh, has that little Y thing there little bow like in the beads pretty and here is a little plastic drop inside of the chain and then that chain has that at the end <laughs> sorry 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 made that face I didn't want y'all to see me sneeze okay that chain is not magnetic but that little piece is just as plastic as it can be but let's just see if there's any markings. No. And it's not silver. You can tell, tell by looking at it, it's not silver. These are really nice glass beads. Really, really. Ball colors. Really nice. Chunky, clunky. We'll put them with a the lot over here. Um, let's see. This one here is signed print premier design it's really nice silver i like it very well i like this right here i'd like it better if it was on a chain but i do like it it's got the double um copper antique brass and antique silver look and it's on a cord no signature but i do like it for me not to for me to like something on a cord is very very rare <clears throat> and this one here hurts my feelings that there's nothing on it it does have a hang tag it's just a chain the hang tag says whiting davis hurts my feelings but there was no pendant on it and these are really pretty and they're plastic supposed to look like amber but they are 
just plastic beads. So that will be a necklace slot. That's what I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that into a necklace slot. And this is cute. Does it have? Yeah, it does have. It is. Um, I think that's a premier design hang tag. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's premier design. It's a little Y necklace. It has little crystals. And yeah, very pretty. And this is pretty little triple stone triple stone uh, rhinestones triple rhinestone there was a name for that necklace I can't remember what it was called I love this now these are they're stone these beads may be glass, but I think they're stone. I believe that snowflake obsidian and probably onyx. But I'm not positive. It could be just glass. But uh, that's really pretty with the cross. And the, that is a very pretty necklace. Very, very pretty. Oh, and it goes over my head without any problems. I like that. I may want to model that for a while. So, anyway, so that was the end of it. I had, I think, about 75 items that are resellable. So, uh, at $55, you can figure out that that's about 75 pieces. 70, right at 73, 74 cents a piece. And so, anyway, so, um, I think that's a good deal. So, there was some tangles. There were some broken pieces. But, I would say less than 10% of the bag was broken pieces. So, box, 10%, less than 10%. Probably closer to 5. So, anyway, so, thanks for everybody for watching and... I will be putting this up later today. Bye.